Hey guys, how are you? How are you? I've missed you guys. If this is your first time on my channel, please, please, please check out my videos. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. You know, we're getting really slow with this whole subscription thing. So let's, let's, you know, speed it up. Thank you very much. <laughs> but if you're new here, I'm going to be talking about a wide range of topics from like, um, you know, finances to getting your masters, upskilling, fashion, friendships, you know, just adulting. You know, we all know how much of a ghetto it is. So I'm going to be talking about that. So today I am going to be talking about how to increase your earning potential. Yes, girl. Yes. So we have to talk about that money. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought that it would be a good idea to just kind of gist with you guys. You know, 2021 is coming to an end. Everyone is kind of doing that whole, let's look back. How was the year? What did we gain? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, for those of you that like to do New Year resolution, good luck with that. <laughs> I ain't going to be doing that. But one thing that I noticed this year that happened a lot was people had like a wide awakening about where they are and where they want to be in terms of maybe just overall life satisfaction. And I'm sure it has, the pandemic had a huge impact on that. Um, people realize that they deserve better. Um, they don't have to settle for less. Just generally, I think from my personal observation, um, both with people around me and just, you know, even people on the outside, just kind of observing that. Um, so that I'm going to focus more specifically on work. So people, there's this whole thing going on right now called the Great Resignation. And I think it's more about people quitting their jobs and finding new, better, better paying, better opportunities, better um, benefits, jobs, which I think is great. Good on y'all. I'm glad that you guys are, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone and everybody's just, you know, trying to find what suits them. So I thought that it would be a good idea to kind of share some of the things that I've seen um, that has helped people improve their earning potential to basically bring in more money. First, let me start by saying that one of the biggest, one of the fastest paths to building wealth is increasing your earning potential. I personally don't think saving is going to cut it in the long run. Saving is great. Don't get me wrong. It's great to save. It's great to have, um, to have that habit of saving. But at the same time, sometimes you find yourself just penny pinching and not exactly reaching your goals in terms of where you want to be financially so if you're someone that you have high goals like me you want to have lots of money you want to be a millionaire or billionaire well okay let's just stop a millionaire <laughs> in dollars in dollars i'm big first thing is in your current job today can you negotiate a higher salary this is usually hard because you you've been probably been in the role for a long time and negotiation is quite there's an art to negotiation, I think. It can be difficult to negotiate if you're already currently in the role right now, but it's very possible. If you feel like you've been doing a lot of work within the past year and you deserve like you know, a raise or a promotion, there's lots and lots of resources online that can help you um, negotiate your current salary. You know, Hopefully you have an understanding boss, you have a boss that's very, very helpful. And I think that if you're able to come up with a compelling case for why you should get a raise that's something that you should definitely pursue yes i'm telling you you go now go get what you deserve because if you don't ask for it you're not going to get it so i would definitely advise if you feel like there's opportunities for growth even within your role and um you know you can take on more responsibilities i'll try to link some um resources that i found helpful in terms of negotiation down in the comment section on the description box so be sure to check those out um and just, you know, do some Google, Google is your friend, do some Google searches on how to negotiate your current salary, how to negotiate within your current job and make sure that you're, you're coming with a lot of data when doing this. Data is very important. Understanding your worth, understanding the work that you've done and being able to tell that story effectively to your manager or, you know, if it has to go up the chain of command, your manager's manager or whatever, but try it out and come back and tell me, let's see how it goes. I want you to get that money get in your bag so the second thing that i would suggest if you're trying to increase your earning potential is to upskill yeah basically get new skills look into in-demand skills skills that will make you very marketable that will make you attractive in the job market 
and I can think of some of those off the top of my head. So right now, anything within the information technology industry is game. Like, trust me, guys, the market is hot for IT folks right now. If you're not a software engineer, you know, and you don't have the time or the resources to go back and get a software engineering degree, you're fine. It's okay. You don't have to go do all of that. There's still a number of different ways that you can stay competitive within the IT industry without having a software engineering degree. There's lots and lots of information about this online. But I want to share a few things. So one um, area that I would say you should look into is the area of artificial intelligence. So it's an emerging field within IT that I believe that it's going to be in demand. It's already in demand. There's a lot of demand for people with artificial intelligence skills. And this is a broad field. So go deep and go check what you think could um, that you could achieve within a short period of time. So if you need to take a Coursera course, so, you know, need to take a certification, look into that, you know, Project management is also huge. Shameless plug, I am a program manager right now and I absolutely love my job. I plan on doing more videos on what a program manager, program manager does and how to become one. But look into that, that's an opportunity. And the great thing about program managers is they can come from any field. So basically there are so many transferable, transferable skills within what you probably already do right now that can get you to being a program manager. And guess what? Program managers can work within any industry, which makes them very, very versatile and even highly competitive within the job market. So there's a lot of need for program managers right now within across all industries. And yeah, if you can get your, you know, look into program management certifications. I have my PMP. If that's something you want to get, that's great. I do have a video linked here. Um, on how to get your PMP certification for free. So that's something you can look into. So just think about different skills, data science, you know, analytics, think of anything that would enhance or it's connected to the IT industry. For sure, you would, your future self is going to thank you if you can upskill yourself right now, pick up those skills. And there, you don't even have to invest a fortune in some of the skills. A lot of the skills you can get from free certifications online, LinkedIn learning. By the way, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just throwing things out there off the top of my head. But just Google again. Google is your friend. Start with free resources in data science, free resources in artificial intelligence, free resources for project management, program management, keep Googling. And I'm sure you're going to find something. At least start from there, start from somewhere. Let this be a sign. If you're looking for a sign, this is it. The third thing that you can do to increase your earning potential is to start a side hustle. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. A lot of people say this and it's not as easy as they say. It's, trust me, I have heard a bunch of Go get your LLC, girl. <laughs> you know, in good faith, though, um, there's there's some merit to having a side hustle. Because I feel like during the pandemic, a lot of people started small businesses. A lot of people, and there, it doesn't even have to be something huge, you know. Identify something that you feel like you do really well right now that could potentially be monetized. Or it could be something passive like you have an extra room and you get into real estate i.e airbnb yeah so if you have an extra room put it on airbnb and get some extra income on the side that definitely would take care of something even if it's just your bills like go for it so i would say that you should definitely look into something you know you could sell on etsy like handcrafts and all those cute little things and then there's like a bunch of websites right now that allow people to kind of put up their skills and um, i'm blanking out on that website right now that i'll link it in the description box or i'll put it somewhere here but there's a ton of websites where you have freelancers that could basically put their you could basically put your skills whatever you think you do like it could be something that editing people's papers you can get paid for that you know if you're if you're a really really good editor you 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 know how to read and edit very well that's something you could potentially make money out of so think about ways that you can monetize those skills even skills like look deeper and don't just try to think outside of the box in terms of things that you're not necessarily, you know, you might not even think that there are skills that you could monetize. You you could definitely monetize those. So yeah, keep yourself open to possibilities.
The next thing that you can do to increase your earning potential is to invest. Yep. So I'm going to do a, a whole separate video about how a clueless 20 something year old like me is trying to figure out my finances. But for now, I would say investing is one of the biggest ways that you can multiply your money and not overnight, please. <laughs> I'm speaking about long term consistent investing that will help you increase your estate. So I would say that start off by reading a bunch of um, information on investing understand the stock market understand how you can invest in you know individual stocks versus etfs mutual funds and a bunch of different things i'm not going to go too deep into that but get your money working for you that's one of the things that i wish i started doing earlier when i started working um and i think that now i see the value so much in investing and just diversifying my portfolio before i just used to have my money sitting in the bank with very low um savings interest um, rates and it's just like the money was just there and i felt i felt safer you know it's great because that, that was kind of like my my risk tolerance at the point but over time i started to realize that i need to make this money work for me and invest in different assets so look into First of all, start off by understanding what your tolerance level is. Where are you? What's your picture like financially? Take a picture of that and understand where you're at in terms of debt, in terms of, um, you know, obligations and so on. And then now start to sit down and plan, make a plan. The fifth and final thing that I would say that you should think about when you're thinking about increasing your earning potential is getting a new job. Gone are days when job hopping has a bad rap or had a bad rap or whatever. But now, if you want to increase your earning potential, some of the best ways to do that, easiest way to do that, is to just change jobs. Look for a higher paying job. Most likely when you switch jobs and you've grown in your previous job, you're going to be moving up the ladder in terms of pay. So I know I know a lot of people that have done A lot of my friends have done that recently. And I know people that have doubled and tripled their salary this year alone so it's very much possible don't there's there's a thin line between contentment and complacency if you know what i mean yeah so that's that's something that i think that we all need to continue to challenge ourselves on it's very important to be content where you're at but it's also important to know when it's time to move on when it's time to open up yourself to other opportunities so i would definitely say that be open dust off your resume all those skills that you've gotten in the past year or two, start to put those in your resume, clean it up, and put it on the job site. You know, it doesn't even have to be you actively looking. A lot of times, sometimes the best time to actually get a new job is when you're not actively looking. Passive, passive um, job seekers have a tendency to be more relaxed in interviews. They have a tendency to, you know, to ace the interview basically because there's no pressure of trying to find a job, right? So my advice is put yourself out there, you know, continue interviewing. Sometimes you don't even, interviewing might not even mean that you want to change jobs. It might mean that you're, um, you know, keeping yourself current to what's going on in the market, seeing what you're actually worth in the market right now. And maybe it could even be an opportunity to ask for a raise in your current job, <laughs> you know, say, hey, this is what people be getting today. And, you know, I think I'm not leveling up. You know what I mean? So um, I think that's, that's definitely one of the biggest ways to increase your earning potential. And yeah, let's go get that money. If you have any other thoughts on how to increase your earning potential, please drop them in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys, actually. I want to know what you think. Well, what's the plan? How are we making this money next year? Like, how are we moving? Where are we moving to? You know, talk to me in the comment section. And don't forget, subscribe and like.